as you may know, today is Ultraman Day, and uh, while this isn't celebrating the uh, 54th anniversary of Ultraman, it's this topic is related to Ultraman, kinda, so here we go. These toys were uh, from my birthday, which wasn't that long ago, so I... First off, we have Ultraman. This is, um, like, men, literally every single other thing here. It's from Bandai. And, uh, like, it's not the, uh, it's not the articulated figure that I was planning on using for Crafted Likers Ultraman, but, like, I do have two Godzilla 2014s, so it's not like, uh, I'm not, it's not like I'm afraid of, um, getting more than two figures for one thing. And, uh, plus, I think I may be able to use this one for, uh, Godzilla Offset, if he ever appears in that. And, uh, next figure, right next to him, Anguirus. So, um, I'm liking this guy. I'll use him for Godzilla Offset as well as, a. Uh, Godzilla May Day, which I announced on uh, Zeto Titan, my Deviant Art page, on one of their one of Zeto Titan's journals. But uh, yeah, I'm liking this one. And then uh, what's next? And then we have the kaiju. That's basically what Godzilla is to his franchise. The um, the Godzilla of Ultraman. Gamora. I do have him planned for a Crypt and Likers Ultraman. I actually have um, an entire episode about him. It's pretty... Oh, I like this. I like the... Uh, I really like the um, this head crest. It makes him look really unique. and It's pretty interesting how um, a Ceratopsian kaiju, because... Like, literally everything about Gamora points to him being a ceratopsian and not a theropod. Except for the bipedal posture, but like... It's really interesting how a herbivore dinosaur actually got famous instead of a carnivore like Aboris or, um, you know, Bemular, who isn't a dinosaur but looks a lot similar to one. And uh, I think it was... Yeah, it was, he was over here. Then we have, um, Red King, who I actually do not plan to use for a Krypton Likers Ultraman, but I might be able to squeeze him in somewhere. But anyways, I really like his, uh, corn on the cob design. Like, come on. Everyone must have thought at one point that Red King looks like corn. You can't tell me otherwise. Yeah, I really like how, um, like, he's, he has his own personality, he's brutal, and, like, his name is actually left over from the original uh, Ultraman concept, so that's pretty cool. And then we got, a uh, Ultraman Taro, who, um, I was not expecting this one, honestly, but, uh, it's like... He's actually going to be in um, the, uh, the the anime Ultraman's second season, which I was not expecting, because I uh, haven't read the manga at all. But, uh, hey, I like him. I like the, uh, the horns. They really make him unique. It's weird how he's basically just seven, both horns and a color timer, but, hey. And, uh... Finally, at this point in time, Antlar. Like like Red King, I wasn't planning for him to be in, um, you know, Crypto Likers Ultraman, but hey, could be able to squeeze him in somehow. Although, uh, Antlar is more likely to be squeezed in. And then, uh, something like, I really do not like how, like, a lot of people just make him just a plain old insect for their redesigns of Ultra Kaiju. Like, he's like the second most 
like, common victim of uh, insectization, I guess I could call it. First one is, of course, Megalon. But, uh, yeah. As of now, that's the uh, only... Oh, wait. One more guy. Not Ultraman, but, uh, hey. Space Godzilla. I, uh, remember, like, in the early days of, uh, Godzilla Offset, like, I had, like, a Dark Crystal parody thing, I guess, where Space Godzilla was the subject. <laughs>